Hi, my name is Ryan Boyle with T Equipment. Today I'm here to talk to you about unboxing your FLIR T530 and setting up screening mode on it. All right, so what we're gonna be going through today is when you get your FLIR camera out of the box, how to set it up. So you put the battery in, Press the power button on the top right. You're going to hold that in for approximately three seconds. You will see a screen that says FLIR. After that loads up, it'll bring you to the screen that you're currently seeing right now. From this point, what you need to do is engage screening mode. It does not come out of the box with it turned on. So what you'll need to do is click on the three dots you'll see in the middle of the screen. That will bring open the settings menu. In here, you'll see numerous different options. You're gonna go all the way to the right where you see the settings wheel, just like you would on any other tablet or device. From here, you'll see multiple options such as connections, temperature ranges, save options, and device settings. We're gonna be clicking into device settings. From here, you'll see multiple other options as, as far as lamp and laser. For this application, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it's disabled so you're not shining lights or lasers in people's eyes accidentally. After you have that disabled, you're gonna scroll down to where you see user interface options. Here we click into it, it'll bring you into another screen. You're gonna see menus and you go down to the bottom where it says screening mode. Here you click it and turn it on. Now you're, you're beginning to set up the process for the screening mode. From here you can either tap the back button in the top left of the screen or the back button on the top right hand side of the camera. Now what you should see is something similar to this. From here, if you do not see this, if it does not auto populate to this, it may look closer to this. So what you'll do is you'll click on the three dots, you go to the left hand side where it says recording mode, click into it and you'll now see two heads silhouettes all the way to the right. You click on that, that will begin the setup process for the screening mode. From here, what you have the option to do is set the, the delta function on the te temperature differential. You can engage the alarm, no alarm, and other different functionalities. At this point, what it's requesting is 10 samples of temperatures. So the first 10 employees that walk into your establishment and the beginning of a shift would be a good baseline for this. From here to, to set these samples, you'll need to hit the P button at the top center of your camera. So for every person that walks through, you click the P button once and you'll see it'll slowly focus it in and lower the count until you have the exact sample size that you're looking for, which is 10 to meet the FDA guidelines. In this example, it's pointed and it's giving us a temperature of 82.4 degrees. From here, you are set up for screening mode. It, you'll notice the features on the left-hand side, the alarm function, that is the delta we set at the beginning. So you'll notice it's exactly three degrees higher than the number above it, which is your control or baseline number. The number you are seeing in the silhouette of a person's shape 82.6 degrees that is the temperature that is actually being read by the camera of the the person walking into the business one other function you are able to change is depending on the distance or your preference you can shut off the silhouette you can make it a little further into the distance due to the range of this camera or you can make it much closer if it's a much closer situation Thank you again for checking in with us at T-Equipment. Again, our video on unboxing the FLIR T530 unit and setting up the screening mode. I hope it's been very useful for you. Please check out our upcoming videos on what the FLIR screening process looks like and how to set that up in your establishment.